In tonight's Healthier Me, a device approved last year by the FDA is changing things up when it comes to shoulder replacements. Reporter Doreen Gensler shows us how the new treatment changed one man's life. We get the flowers and the fence fixed. 63 year old John Bowling built this house. He's led an active life. But a few years ago, serious shoulder pain started to interfere with all of that. It would range anywhere from, from 9 to 11, depending on how high I tried to move my shoulders. Osteoarthritis is basically a thinning or loss of cartilage that lines the, the bone, which creates a smooth surface for the two bones to kind of slide against one another. And in his case, it was completely gone. John's degenerative arthritis created almost constant friction in his shoulder joints and severely limited his movement. There were times when it would be so bad, he actually would scream out sometimes in the night. I mean, that pain was unbelievable. The final straw was getting ready to go to church on a Sunday morning, and I couldn't get my arms up to pull my pants up or tuck my shirt in. By the time John went to see Dr. Peter Johnston, his shoulders had deteriorated so badly that... The options for him, reconstructive options, were basically doing a half a shoulder replacement or a full shoulder replacement. Dr. Johnston performed a stemless shoulder replacement using a small device which was approved by the FDA just last year. Traditionally, shoulder replacement uses a metal spike which can run halfway down the arm. The stemless device is an eighth of the size, fitting into the top of the arm bone. And you can see that basically fits right there into the humerus, and then we actually cut the ball off and replace it with this metal ball, and the metal <coughs> ball rests on the plastic socket. John had his right shoulder replaced in January, and then the left side was replaced a few months later. The day after the surgery, when, when the doctor came in to saw me, he asked me how I was doing, and I says, I'm feeling great. His only regret? That he suffered for five years before getting help. I can raise him all the way up. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. And it doesn't grind. No more pain. No more pain. The new procedure also has less blood loss, and preliminary evidence suggests there may be lower risk of infection. Good for him. Yeah, no kidding. Later in sports, highlights from NCAA Tournament Volleyball, plus basketball and hockey highlights all coming your way. Up next, no more shelf life for a popular women's health magazine that's going digital.